G'day everyone. I'm from that generation when if we needed to pass data around from customer to customer or department to department, we did CSV files. Comma separated files was the only way you would pass data around. And as the years went on, people decided, well, CSV doesn't really have a lot of structure to it. There's nothing, it doesn't really self-explain itself. It can be easily corrupted. And therefore we introduced the new, what we call the future, the future of all data exchange, XML. And XML was told that'll be the only data exchange format we will ever need. And as time went on, XML got more and more powerful, more and more convoluted and complex. And therefore people started to move away to this new brand new thing called JSON. And like every other data format, it will be the only format we will ever need. Everyone loves JSON because it doesn't have all that complexity uh, with XML. It's just simple, unstructured data, and off you go. And surprise, surprise, people said, you know, some of the good bits of XML in terms of being able to make sure the validation of data was correct, well, we'd sort of like that in JSON as well. It's funny how with unstructured data, people say, yes, I'd like it to be unstructured, but not so unstructured that I don't know what's in there. I like some sort of structure in there. And so to recognize that need, the fact that JSON documents, yes, it's unstructured data, but we'd like to be able to put some rules as to just how unstructured it is, we've introduced some facilities in 23AI to solve this. Let's have a look at an example. So with JSON validation in 23AI, it becomes an attribute that you can assign to the table in which you have JSON data. So I'll create a table here called cars. It's got a primary key and it's got a JSON column called JSON data. It's of the JSON data type. But this is the new clause you can add in Oracle Database 23AI. I want to validate the JSON as it comes in. And I've got some properties here. I'm saying, yes, there's going to be a model property, the model of the car. And it must be a string and it can only be between one and 10 characters long. Similarly, I'm going to have a year property and I'm gonna have it a rule that it's a number and it has to be a car manufactured between 1970 and say 2023. They can also introduce some rules as to which properties are required. So I've said in this case required, the model and year are both required and then the rest of the table definition goes on as before. So now we can insert some rows into this table and just make sure our validation rules for the JSON data are actually applied. So the first row I'll insert here into my cars table, I have a Toyota and 2011, and that's fine, it satisfies both those rules. If I insert the next row, row number two, it's a model Toyota 2021, but notice I can add extra properties as well. The only rules I applied were you had to have a model, you had to have a year, but we can add other properties as well. For my third row, I'm trying to insert just a Toyota and we get the error as we would expect. I didn't give a year of manufacture and therefore I was missing some of the required components. I'm now adding some rules to ensure the structure of my unstructured data. And this final one, I'm adding a Toyota and I've added a year which doesn't fall into the allowable range 1970 up to 2023. So effectively it's like having check constraints but on your JSON data. The beauty of this is it means that we can now have some rigor to our unstructured data. And if we need to see those validation rules, we can just jump straight into the data dictionary. Inside user JSON schema columns, you can see the validation rules that we've applied to particular columns in particular tables. So with Oracle Database 23 AI, you can now, what's the best term? You can now have your cake and eat it as well. The beauty and flexibility of unstructured data along with appropriate rules to make sure that you're not too unstructured. You're bringing some structure to your unstructured data. Enjoy.